Hello loves and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> If you are new here, hello, my name is Arizona, welcome to the family, do not forget to like, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell and stay updated with me and when I post, and welcome, if you are a returning subscriber, hello baby, hello babies, welcome back, if you are new, hello, welcome to the family, I'm on the road to 1k subscribers, I'm trying to get there before the end of next month and hopefully I can do it. Anyway, we're not going to do too much talking. Do not forget to follow the social media down below. And let's get into the video. So, y'all, I'm doing another story time today. I know. It's going to be another get ready with me story time. Um, I just, like, been sitting here, like, coming up with ideas. This is now the third video I'm filming today. Um, but it probably won't be out till next week. So, when y'all see this, it's probably going to be Thanksgiving week when y'all see this but yeah so today's story time is gonna be about when I stole something <sighs> I know very shocking it's gonna be I think the first time I stole something is what this story time is about um so let's just get into it so y'all y'all know when I get ready or do a little get ready with me I start with contacts first I know I can wear my glasses, but I wear the contacts because when I wear my glasses in the video, like the glare from the light hits off of it. And hopefully when I get a camera and a setup, it's going to be much better. But this is what we're working with right now. So, I have a black crop top that I'm going to be wearing. Um, so, I'm trying not to give y'all the same colors, you know. Like... I want to keep saying the same old thing, but I'm not going to do any, like, of my other ones because I don't want to scare y'all. So, we're going to do Kiwi today. So, this story time is going to start off, I think I was 11, 10, 11. Um, this story time is about to be just a little bit of why would you do that type of situation because, oh, this needs some solution. Hold on. But yeah, this story time is going to be kind of like a why would you do that type of situation. Um, so, let's dock, what day was this? I don't remember exactly what day it was, but I do know if we're docking it a day before. So, it was a Monday because, because, that Sunday I was at church and I got baptized for, I don't know, probably the third or fourth time in my life. Um... So, the next day, because this was over my grandma's house back when she was living, and it used to be the family house. Um, me and my brother used to go over to my grandma's house for the weekends while my mom goes to work, because she used to work at a hotel. And so we'd be over there with her. Now, not to bash my grandma or anything, but my grandma is, I want to say, she favoritizes my brother. Um... There is a reason behind it. I won't disclose her business, but she does favoritize my brother over me. And it's been like that for years. I just don't say anything at this point because there legit is no point because it's just going to be that way. But, um, so, warning if you got a phobia, I am about to touch my eye. I'm putting the contact in my eye. But, uh, it went right in today. Would you look at that? Um,. But we went to the store the next day because um, there was used to be this corner store. It's closed now. But um, we were going to the corner store to get something. I think it was like a snack or something because it was like a congratulations for getting baptized. And then we were going to the grocery store. Now, this little corner store, I forgot the name of it at the time. But this little corner store was a nice, nice little, you know, nice little corner store. Uh, we were going in there and my grandma got us both some gum scooch okay so the contacts are in these are called kiwi again um not to you know it's not sponsored but my promo code or my code i should just say it's not a promo code my code is queen z to get uh i think four to five dollars off if you want to order from ttdi anyway 
um we went to the corner store and she let us get some gum now at the time i was big on juicy fruit if you guys don't know what juicy fruit is i'll pop a picture right here but this is juicy fruit i was like i said 10 11 12 around there so gum that gum was very popular like very popular i always went to school with some juicy fruit so i picked up juicy fruit and then my brother got some gum as well now if i'm 11 he was about six six seven um you know, so we went up there, we got what we got, and I happened to notice that my grandma got my brother an extra pack of gum. Didn't offer me no extra pack. I mean, I asked her, I said, Grandma, can I get another pack? She said no. Okay, but he could get another pack? Interesting. Me being who I was, I was a little sneaky little, little girl. I decided to look around to see if there's cameras. I mean, I looked through every aisle. I looked all around the ceiling. I said, there's no cameras. Anyway, so I took the gum, I put it in my pocket. I remember I had on a big old coat that day. I mean, a big old coat, uh, cause I think it was cold. So I had on like a bubble coat, but I had one of the coats where the pockets zip up. Now, I had it. I got away with it you know we're out the store we're walking to the grocery store you know we make it to pretty much the grocery store I'm up here playing with my brother going down the hill to the grocery store and I did a jump now Arizona forgot to zip up her pocket so I bet you can imagine what happened there Bloop. goes the pack of gum I felt it fall out but I kept moving I said, ain't no way she saw this, ain't no way she heard this. I'm not getting in trouble, cause it wasn't me. That was my mindset, cause I remember that's distinctly how I thought. All I hear is my grandma saying, Arizona, what is this? I look back, I was like, huh? She said, what is this? I said, it's gum. She said, where did it come from? I said, it looked like it was already on the ground. <laughs> Girl, not the lion. She said, no, this just fell out your pocket. And then now my reaction is like, ooh, I'm caught. <laughs> Give me a second. Now my reaction is like, she caught me. You know, I'm caught. And, and she then asked me, she said, did you take this from the store? Me continuing to ride by my case. I said, no, that's not mine. I don't know where it came from. I don't know how it got there, you know? I'm riding by my case. It wasn't Arizona's fault and Arizona didn't do it. <laughs> what I was gonna do is on the way back, if she would agree with me, is I was gonna pick it back up and take it with me. And that wasn't the case, y'all. She was like, this distinctly fell out your pocket. So, we're gonna walk back to the store and you're gonna give it back to them. We get all the way back to the store. My grandma's telling the person what happened and I'm upset. I was crying. I know why I was upset. I was upset that I got caught. I wasn't upset that I took it. I was upset, upset that I got caught. <laughs> like, wow not even upset that I took it but I have no clue if that matches but we're going to see today um I was upset that I got caught I was like I really just got caught I was just trying to give me some extra gun you know you can't explain nothing to grandparents especially if your grandparents or parent is like mine um my grandma said they're not pressing charges you better be lucky they're not pressing charges on you um the person in there i forgot it was a male or a female i think it was a male he was just like i think he was just like i'm a kid so he wasn't going to do nothing about it or anything but she just told me not to steal from nobody no more and i said i won't you know i'm not gonna do that that's bad and it was just bad because the fact that I just got baptized the day before and here I am stealing the next day. So it was like, what was my point of getting baptized if I was just going to steal the next day? So, 
after that, we went back to the grocery store. I think my grandma hit me. I think she did. But she was waiting till I got home because she was telling, we was telling everybody. I mean, she was telling everybody what happened. My The neighbor across the street, my uncle, uh, or I said my great uncle, when he was living there and we was all living there, uh, told my mama when she got back home from work. Uh, uh, my I think my cousin Ryan was my cousin who has the house now. I think he was also there, so he got told. I mean, everybody got told. Uh, the boy who liked me back then <laughs> got told because his grandma was told. My friend back then got told, like, dang. Goodness gracious. But I was upset. I was just crying. And then, uh, you know, I think I got a whooping, maybe. I know a lot of people don't get whoopings nowadays, but I got a whooping. Are you okay? We got whoopings. So, um, that happened. So, I mean, I got in trouble, but I didn't because my mom was mad. But... I think my mom said I also stole before, like that she stole before. So, I mean, she was mad at me, but then again, she was like, you know, I mean, it, it happened. I guess that was kind of like the added, oh, I hate dark blue. It's cool though. Um, she was like, I guess that's, you know, it, it happens. But my mom was still mad about it. But I do believe I got a whooping from a couple of people that day so my booty was sore because <laughs> I got hit by I think manly belts and then I got smacked on the hand with uh what you call them things these are two different lashes I don't know if y'all could tell this one's fluffy this one hey it don't even matter because I'm getting some new lashes soon anyway um so yeah I got a whooping by a couple people that day but I learned my lesson, kind of, not to steal. And then I think after that, I think I was like grounded for maybe a week, two weeks. And then that was that. I think I did end up getting baptized again. And ciao. Ciao. I don't know what I was thinking that I... I really don't know what I was thinking, you know. I was just, I was just trying to show YouTube that I got a, I got a shirt on, you know. <laughs> so, uh, jewelry. Should we do some silver? I feel like we always do some gold. I feel like we need to do silver. Um, but I don't know what I was thinking, honestly and truthfully. I mean, I know what I was thinking, but I don't know what I was thinking. It was just the more of. I felt like it was unfair for my brother to get more than what I was getting. And that was just kind of like my mindset back then. I was not messing with it. Ooh, where's the little swirl I tried to do the last time? I'm trying to find it. Oh, I found it. You gonna do the swirl this time? The swirly swirl. Think about getting my other side of my nose pierced too, y'all. We'll see. We'll see. But, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking, honestly and truthfully. I just, I wasn't feeling the fact that my brother, you can wear that. My brother was, like, getting more, you know, more stuff than me. Like, dang, I'm here too. It's pretty much, like, the story time of when I first stole something. Um, when I first stole something, you know? But as I was saying, like, this is little play stuff for TikTok. I ain't been on TikTok for real because TikTok is toxic. I don't know if y'all know that, but TikTok is just so toxic. And it needs to get its life together. Honestly and truthfully. So that's why I ain't been on TikTok. That's why I ain't been on TikTok. But that was pretty much like the story time about when I stole um, something from the store. Uh, it was very dumb to do, you know. And if I try to do something like that now, I'm not a child no more. So charges will be pressed and 
I don't know about y'all, but I like my freedom of what I have. It may not be a whole lot of freedom. I may not be able to go everywhere I want to go, but it's still some freedom. It was very, like I said, stupid thing to do. Um, but honestly, it's not like I had bad reasonings behind it. <laughs> so I'm still trying to like justify it. But I mean, don't steal y'all. It ain't worth it. You could get in serious trouble for it. Especially if you get caught, because that is definitely time in prison, or um, you'll be put on a box, which is a little anklet. We, they call it the box out here, which, you know, I'm used to a Cincinnati's slang at this point. And whatnot. Just don't do it, because, like, there's no point of it. Is my whole point is getting at that. Um, there's like no point of doing it at all. Um, I was just young and stupid and wanted something extra when I could have just waited until you know I had got some money or something else like that. But I wasn't thinking like that at the time. I was just like, my brother got something that I wanted and I was not okay with it. So. <laughs> Um, I wasn't okay with it. Like, I low-key, that's a different story time, but I used to be jealous of my brother for the simple fact of he got a lot more stuff than I ever was able to get, and majority of it was for my grandma, so it was just like, I know he's a baby, <laughs> but why does he get all this? But when I was a baby, I didn't get all this. It was that type of situation, but I'm definitely not jealous of my brother now. Um, I love my little brother. He could be a pain, but I definitely love my little brother. Um, nothing against that big-headed little boy. And yeah, y'all. So yeah. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little story time about when I stole something. Need to get my life together. But yeah, so I thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please do not steal nothing please and do not forget to subscribe again i'm on the road to 1k subscribers so do not forget to subscribe to my channel i again thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video loves bye